Hi, Iz. Well, I've been getting a lot of questions about how this works, where it comes from what, and, you know, a lot of people, I mean, not everybody understands the electricity part of this, and it's not very intimidating. It's very, once you get the hang of it, I mean, there's one equation that y'all need to know, and that is the easiest thing. Watts equals volts times amps. Blam, that's it. That is as simple as electricity can get. So let me show you. So these are my solar panel cables. I don't feel like going outside. I don't feel like trimming up a video or whatever. So that's where the power comes in. Now I have 1800 watts in solar. Now, when you hear that number, you think, wow, you really can't run that much on 1800 watts. You think like a microwave is 1500, you know, but they, you're not necessarily running off of the solar panel. So this is my battery bank. That determines what you're running. That is, so the power comes into here, into the charge controller. That regulates the charge. So that hooks up to the batteries and that's constantly monitoring the battery's voltage and giving it charge where it's needed. The battery is storing that energy. Now this battery bank is just about 500 amp hours. So it's hard because you know, your panels are charging and it's 1800 watts, but then your batteries are in amps and then, you know, depending on your system voltage, that's a whole nother, you know, that could affect everything else entirely. So what you have to do is calculate your 1800 watts. Your watts is pretty standard. From there, you just divide your system voltage. So I'm running in 24 volt. So that means I get 75 amps of charge to my battery. So that's a good starting point. Now, when you start to think about how things run, like your air conditioner, uh, your refrigerator, lights, like you, so you could convert everything to amps and that standardizes it for you. And uh, so another thing you have to factor for is those vote, those ratings for your electricity is at 110 volts. Now I'm running mine here at 24 volts. So typically what you have to do is multiply by five. So something that costs 10 amps to run is going to cost me 50 amps off of my battery bank, off of my stored power here. And that's the conversion to make it to go to, and this, this is your inverter that makes everything work. That converts DC to AC. Your batteries are in DC. That's DC power. Your solar panels charge at DC. The inverter converts, converts it into usable AC. So that's really it. So whatever assist, whatever you're running at, if you're running at 12 volts, which I used to run this system at 12 volts, and then I was getting 150 amps of charge. And then, but you know, then you're, everything's rated more because then the bank was rated for 900 amp hours. So the, the, the equation goes up, but it's a lot more efficient converting less. You understand that? Like, so if I'm charging at 150 amps, you need a lot heavier duty equipment just to do that. Whereas if you're charging at 75 amps, like it's a big difference. Just like when you buy your inverter and you decide to go from 3000 Watts to 4000 Watts, cause that's true running wattage there. That's what you're going to plug in. And like your air, your air conditioner is going to cost 1500 Watts, but that's going to power it. So it's just what's behind that. That sometimes intimidates people. It gets a little tricky, but it is. It's super easy. It's watts equals volts times amps. And just from there, it's simple. All right. I hope this helps. All right. Cool. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope that explained a little something. Uh, give a comment. Give a like. Give a subscribe. Stay peaceful. Thank you.